And here is the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, the 8th of August, 2019. It was on this day, 1929, the dirigible, the Graf Zeppelin, took off from Lakehurst, New Jersey, to fly around the world carrying 61 passengers and crew. It took them just over 21 days. The airship had been flying for nine years. It also conducted the first commercial passenger flight across the Atlantic Ocean, flew more than a million miles, flew a scientific mission over the North Pole. But the age of the giant dirigibles came to an end when the Graf Zeppelin's sister ship, the Hindenburg, blew up at Lakehurst in 1937. Nobody ever wanted to ride on another one again. It was on this day in 1818 that John Keats set sail from Scotland to return to London. He'd been on a six-week walking tour with his friend Charles Brown. Keats had spent his life in London, never been out of southern England. He'd never seen a mountain before. So he packed a knapsack with a shirt and stockings and a nightcap and towels, a brush and comb, snuff. He took one book along with him, a translation of Dante and he and Charles Brown set out to walk. They had good shoes. He had a walking stick. They walked through England's Lake District. They stopped at William Wordsworth's home. He wasn't home. They left a note for him. Keats discovered that he was moved by people more than by scenery. They hiked through northern England into Scotland, crossed over to Northern Ireland briefly. Keats's health had been questionable before the trip, and then he developed a bad cold. And so on this day in 1818, he headed back to London. In the one year that followed this walking tour, he wrote some of his greatest poems to Autumn, Ode on a Grecian Urn, Ode to a Nightingale, Hyperion. And less than three years later, he died of tuberculosis. It's the birthday of Marjorie Kinnon Rawlings, born Washington, D.C., 1896, best known for her book The Yearling, which was the best-selling novel in America in 1938. And it's the birthday of the poet Sarah Teasdale, St. Louis, 1884, grew up in a wealthy family who subsidized her writing and paid for the publication of her first book in 1907. Her book Rivers to the Sea was a bestseller in 1915 and her collection Love Songs in 1917. She was very successful, Sarah Teasdale, but she was very insecure. Her marriage to a St. Louis businessman fell apart. In 1931, her old lover, the poet Vachel Lindsay, killed himself, and Teasdale was devastated. Two years later, she committed suicide with an overdose of sleeping pills. Here's a poem for today by William Wordsworth. She was a phantom of delight. She was a phantom of delight when first she gleamed upon my sight a lovely apparition sent to be a moment's ornament, her eyes as stars of twilight fair, like twilight's too, her dusky hair, but all things else about her drawn from Maytime and the cheerful dawn, a dancing shape, an image gay to haunt, to startle, and waylay. I saw her upon nearer view, a spirit, yet a woman too, her household motions light and free, and steps of virgin liberty, a countenance in which did meet sweet records, promises as sweet, a creature not too bright or good for human nature's daily food, for transient sorrows, simple wiles, praise, blame, love, kisses, tears, and smiles. And now I see, with eye serene, the very pulse of the machine, a being, breathing, thoughtful breath, a traveler between life and death, the reason firm, the temperate will, endurance, foresight, strength, and skill, a perfect woman, nobly planned, 
to warm, to comfort, and command, and yet a spirit still and bright with something of angelic light. Wrote William Wordsworth. And that's the Writer's Almanac for Thursday, the 8th of August, 2019. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.